Hello and welcome to the E36 and E46 rear Apex Engineer trailing arm product overview video. This video is going to go over what's included, the construction of the trailing arms, our QC process, the base settings that we recommend, as well as some color options. So what you're going to have included is going to be the pair of the trailing arms, the hardware pack for the trailing arms, and then if you selected, if you wanted us to include the bearings, the bearings that are going to be pre-pressed in to the hub for the trailing arm. As well, if you opted for the tow brackets, you'll get the tow brackets and the tow bracket hardware. Next, we're gonna go over the construction of the trailing arms themselves. The trailing arms are tubular steel. You can see here we have a tubular along with a very rigid gusset in the back, as well as gussets in the front, making this an extremely rigid design. Now, the really beautiful part of these trailing arms is they come with the dual caliper brackets, so then you don't have to weld on any dual calipers. They come pre-installed with dual calipers. And then you opted for the wheel bearings. Now, this wheel bearing is now splined for an E36 M3 axle making this a lot more stronger on the splines compared to the factory E36 splines. We do notice that a lot of failures happen, especially in your high horsepower red spline. So this upgrades you to the larger spline. And the beautiful part of that is that this also uses now a bolt-on wheel bearing instead of a press-on bearings. So this makes it a lot easier to service at the track and a easier to service down the road and easier to service down the road. If you ever had to replace the bearing, you can simply unbolt the four bolts that hold the bearing on and then get a new bearing and reinstall that relatively easily. You can also see that these have absolutely massive rod ends for the trailing arm mounts to the tow brackets. These will pretty much handle almost anything they can throw at it, whether it's drift use, track use, or even rally use. These rod ends aren't gonna budge by no means. <clears throat> these rod ends are gonna take anything that you can throw at it. Next, we're gonna go ahead and talk about the bearings themselves. Now, these are the bolt-on wheel bearings that we have pressed in. Now, we do supply, we do offer to sell these to you pre-pressed in to make it your install a lot easier. Otherwise, you can buy the housing and the bearings separately. We can go ahead and give you the part numbers. The part numbers for those are down below. Finally, the, the wheel bearings themselves will come with bolts. Now, the bolts do have the washers pre-installed. You will have to remove the washers. What we recommend is having the washer held in place while hitting it with a mallet down, the washer should come out and be left with just the bolt itself, so that way you have easy access. Here you can go ahead and see we have a wheel bearing pre-installed with the bolts already installed in there. You could go, go see that the bolts are recessed and give you ample room for the E36 M3 style axle. So because these use the BMW M3 axle, you do get the benefit of running higher horsepower as well as a larger spline. Now, the only thing that you do have to modify on these is gonna be the vehicle speed sensor ring. You do have it to slide it all the way back and you pretty much slide it until it stops back here. Originally, it's right here, so you just have to slide it back. Usually with a mallet and a chisel, you should be able to work its way back on this. And this allows for the vehicle speed sensor on our trailing arms to perfectly line up to the vehicle speed sensor on the axle itself. Our QC process on the trailing arms are relatively straightforward. We wanna make sure there's no scratch things or dents on the, QC, on the powder coated finish. Now, something to know is we do hang these, usually from either the brake brackets holes or one of the holes back here. So you may see a small hook mark for when we ho hook these on for powder coating. Next part of our QC process is gonna be the threads. We wanna make sure that all the threads are free and clear of any grit or grime during the sandblasting process. Next, we're gonna go over base settings. The base settings for the trailing arms is relatively straightforward. There isn't a ton of adjustment except for the toe brackets as well as the heim joints themselves. Now for the heim joint, we usually recommend about 3 8 to half inch of thread past this larger jam nut. Now, if you do wanna raise it lower, you can always remove the jam nut and then place it on the other side of the thread, or you can just leave it up here. For most customers that are gonna lower their E36 about inch and a half to two inches. And finally, we're gonna go over the color options. This is a beautiful metallic red that this customer selected. We do offer a ton of other colors. Feel free to check out the video up here, to see the different color options that we have, as well as if you wanna take a look at the install video, take a look at the video down here to see this getting installed on the E36. If you have any other questions or concerns, be sure to give us a call or shoot us an email. Thank you.